Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera and in today's video I'm going to be setting up my spreads for February. My theme for February is the Lunar New Year. This year is extra special because it's the year of the tiger, which is my year. So I'm excited to get into this. While this holiday is more commonly known as the Chinese New Year, it isn't just celebrated in China, which is why I'll be referring to it as the Lunar New Year. This is a time for family reunions, lots of food, visiting the homes of ancestors, and some very loud celebrations, including firecrackers, which is definitely a highlight, by the way. As its name suggests, the Lunar New Year depends on the phases of the moon, and this is why it changes every single year. Now, before getting into my spreads, I wanted to share a flip through of my January spreads because I sadly didn't get to filming my plan with me this year. My theme for January was Monstera leaves. I went for a different sort of monthly log where instead of a calendar, I went with a vertical line with numbers and the days of the weeks in the middle of my page. And on the sides, I could write out birthdays and plans that I had. You'll also notice that I used tabs for this month and my tabs took the form of Monstera leaves. I kept the same trackers I've been using for the longest time and went with a rolling weekly for January because I didn't think I would be using my journal a lot. That was a mistake in the end because I needed to write a lot of things down. But anyway, let's move on back to my February theme. For my cover page, I decided to illustrate a girl standing next to a tiger and I was inspired by multiple Pinterest pins that I'm putting on the side right here. I've never illustrated a tiger before, which is kind of shocking. That is not true. I have illustrated a tiger before, but many, many years ago. I'll insert a picture now. But I can't remember how to do it properly, and this tiger did come out a little bit wonky, so I will show pictures at the end where I did actually try and adjust the face to make it look more realistic. It was kind of a mess, but I do like how the body looked. So let's get into the illustration part of this tiger. For the tiger, I used a pencil first to outline the details that I was going to be representing. And then I had to use a base coat to get the orange and the kind of white fur underneath the belly, kind of the right colors and shades. To do this, I obviously used orange and I mixed it up with some white paint and made sure I blended everything in correctly so that it gave the shape and form of a tiger. This was a very tough and long process, even though I am showing snippets of it and making it look like it was super easy. It was not, and I think I must have banged my head on the table several times just trying to get this illustration right, and in the end, it still wasn't amazing. So I don't pay too much attention to the face and the mouth at this point because it is going to look a bit weird, but I am going to try and fix it and I think I did a good job of fixing it later. For the teeth, I used an Archer and Olive Acrylograph to get those white sharp points and then I remembered after looking at a real image of a tiger that when a tiger's mouth is open, you do not actually see all of its teeth. So that is one of the things that I correct. I wanted to show you some clips of me adding on the stripes of the tiger. And whilst this still kind of looks a bit wonky because the stripes of the black are just on a very flat orange, I do add in some orange and yellow and white stripes to kind of get it more flowing together, which you will see as the clips move. The next part was to paint the girl, and whilst she did look Chinese when I first did the pencil drawings, after painting it, she didn't really look Chinese apart from the fact that her skin tone and her hair colour match Chinese complexion. I just totally messed up the lips and the nose and made them way too big, and um, honestly I couldn't really be bothered to change it because I just... The tiger was already doing my head in, so I didn't want to go and mess up any part of the girl. The painting of the girl is supposed to be an imaginative self-portrait of myself, and I represent that with her short kind of black hair, which is what I have, short black hair, but I do have blonde bits at the end. And imaginative because I have not worn a traditional red dress in many, many years, at least since I was maybe eight. And so a little bit of history behind the red dress. This red dress is a traditional Chinese dress called a qi pao. Now excuse my accent because I do not speak Chinese fluently and so I don't have the right intonations for the words, but I'm trying! The qi pao is probably one of the most famous Chinese traditional dresses and it is represented by a sort of higher colour that is very conservative. It's usually always a straight cut but in my painting I've designed it so it's a bit more form-fitting and a bit more 
Europeanized, which is what the styles look like more these days. The color red, bright yellow, and purple almost exclusively belonged to the emperor and his imperial family. However, people would wear the color red at weddings or at big celebrations, which is why I've chosen to represent this dress in red because Chinese New Year is a big celebration. These days, these dresses have been more commercialized and with a lot of Western influence to make the sleeves shorter, a bit more form-fitting, and the decorations are simpler nowadays as well. The next element to my cover page is this red circle that encompasses the head of the tiger. Now, the red circle is more of a Japanese symbol because in Japanese culture, the sun is seen as red and not yellow. However, I've chosen to have a red circle on my cover page for purely aesthetic reasons. The color red symbolizes good fortune and happiness in Chinese culture, and it is found quite literally everywhere during Chinese New Year, paired with the color gold, which I'll get to in a second. For my monthly log, I'm going for more of a creative style, where I'm going to be using different colored boxes to represent my month. To start off though, I'm putting Year of the Tiger up in big, so it's kind of a finishing page to my cover page, so the two should be paired together. The Year of the Tiger I'm writing in big instead of writing the month name because I just think it's more symbolic for me. My squares are going to be in the colours red and yellow. I'm also throwing in some orange and a bit of darker hues of red because I just wanted it to be a little bit more colourful. During Chinese New Year, elders will typically give younger children a red envelope to welcome in the New Year. And what do you get in those red envelopes, you might ask? Well, usually you get money. <laughs> and as a kid, when we would get the red envelopes, it would always be such a fun moment. Down the bottom I've decided to paint on a gold circle because I just love the color gold and if you tilt the page the right way and it reflects with the sunlight it looks so so good. Now the color gold or yellow corresponds to earth and symbolizes royalty and is generally reserved for the emperor. The color gold is considered the most beautiful color and it symbolizes good luck and that is why it is paired with the color red during Lunar New Year. I've also chosen this color because I'm adding in some details, which are little black stripes, to represent the tiger in a more abstract kind of way. Now let's have a look at my cover page in a little bit more detail so you can see my self-portrait up a little bit closer. I did end up adding some gold details, just some dots where you would see some buttons perhaps. The tiger's face is a little bit more accurate, although it's still a bit wonky. I'm just not quite sure how to accurately portray my tiger, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Here I'm tilting my page to give you a bit of a reflection of the gold, which I think looks insane. And I'm just totally in love with how these two pages look together. Let's now move on to my habits tracker. And as you can see in the pencil, I'm going to be painting the tiger in a more abstract way this time. It's easier for me and it takes a lot less time. Let's talk about the tiger in Chinese symbolism. So the tiger is known as the king of all beasts. Tigers originate from China and have had a close relationship with the Chinese people since ancient times. And they greatly admired tigers, especially in areas such as South China and Northeast China, where there were dense tiger populations. Of course, today that's no longer such a reality with global warming and climate change. I've chosen to represent my tiger on top of a gold circle because as we know, gold is one of the most beautiful colors and so the tiger being my symbol has to be represented on the most beautiful color. The tiger is the most representative animal in nature and it is admired as a god by the whole Chinese nation. Not only has the tiger become a symbol of bravery, happiness and power, but it is also said to drive away evil spirits. I'm absolutely in love with the way I've decided to represent the tiger. I've taken inspiration from this image on the side but instead of going for a more detailed look like this image is I scaled it back completely leaving only the inside stripes of the tiger visible and no outline of the tiger itself I believe that the stripes on the tiger are enough to create the impression that it is a tiger without needing to outline it as well. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you to enjoy the time lapse of me finishing this tiger painting because I do think it is absolutely lovely. The habits that I'm going to be tracking this month are a bit different from last month. So I'm going to keep the standard box where I have on the left side the habits that I'm going to track and then on the columns the days of the month. And then every single day that I complete that habit, I will put a little circle 
in a square and then if I don't do it, I'll just put a line. So I'm gonna insert an image from January to show you what that looks like. Then in the middle, I also have my steps and phone screen tracker. So this is also the same. For my steps, I am using a column chart and for my phone and screen time, I am using a line chart. The last habit that I'm tracking is actually my sleep. And at the moment, because I'm unemployed, I lose track of time and when I go to sleep. I wanna cultivate a healthier sleeping habit. Finally, on this page, I am writing out this quote that says, My struggles do not make me weak. They are teaching me resilience and how to grow through hardship. This is a quote from Alex L on Instagram, and I thought it was a great quote to add in here because as I am struggling to find a job that I like that pays me well, I just need to remember that not being able to find a job right now is not making me weak. It is just teaching me that the right job for me will be out there. I just have to keep searching. I'm also adding the tiger detailed stripes, the abstract stripes around the gold part that is on the top right of the page because I thought it was lacking a bit of detail in that spot. And as you saw just at the beginning of that clip, my black acrylograph from Archer and Olive always leaks, which is always why I'm very scared to use it on all of my work because I just don't know when it's gonna explode next. And they kindly sent me another one to replace it, but it happens with that one as well. So either I'm doing something wrong or it's just a fault in the black color because it doesn't happen with any of the other colors that I have. We are progressing nicely through my spreads and onto the next one. So you can quickly see the outline there was a tiger, a small tiger at the bottom of the page, but I ended up changing that idea because I didn't want to paint another tiger like my cover page because it was too stressful. I decided to do this adaptation of these two black tigers in the picture here on the side and I decided to kind of adapt a yin and yang feeling to it by doing one red and one black. So this spread is my one line a day and gratitude log and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I wasn't expecting it to look this way, but I guess I just kind of went with the flow and it turned out very nice. The first step to painting this spread is to fill out these blocks of color. I have blocks of red and gold to be base colors and then I'm going to paint the tigers on the top. I also decided that I was going to add in some blocks of colors on the sides as well, which you will see a little bit later, because I just didn't want the page to look so empty and plain and boring. I also put tape down whilst I was painting because I wanted it to have a very straight edge vibe and I thought it looked really cool. To do the red tiger, I wanted to try and use my Archer and Olive acrylographs, but I didn't have the right colored red, so I tried mixing two together, which still didn't give me the right color. So I just abandoned the acrylographs and went back in with some gouache. I mixed magenta and yellow to give a red feel and I started painting the tiger. I freehand drew the outline of the tiger and then just eyeballed the stripes to see where exactly I would put them for the body I'm on the red tiger because I did it on, I hand drew it with pencil on the black tiger which you will see done a little bit later. And I think I pretty much nailed the stripes. They could have been a little bit thicker maybe but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I started doing the black tiger on the side, on the other side, but as you'll see, I was struggling to put the acrylograph down because my paint was actually still wet, which was pretty silly of me. So I abandoned it halfway through and started filling in the letters for the gratitude side. For the gratitude and the one line a day words, I just used a bold font for those letters. It's a very easy font to replicate. And I have a video where I detail how to do this font. If you're interested, I will link the video here in the description and in the card. After I finished writing gratitude, my red paint was finally dry so I could get back to colouring in and drawing out my black tiger. As I said, I was going to add in some blocks of colours, so I chose the same blocks of colours, red and gold, and I placed down some washi tape so that I could paint them and not have any rough edges like I do in other spreads. Here you'll just get to see some of the painting process for doing all these blocks of colours. Whilst this video is going to cut really fast for all the blocks of colors, it does take a while and especially when you have to lay down washi tape, paint the colors evenly, do second coats when the paint isn't really thick. I especially have to do a second coat when there's gold painting because the gold that I have is an acrylic from 
the dollar store so it's really really cheap and it's a really thin kind of color so i always have to do a double coat of that gold the painting process however is fun and very meditative because it's always just so nice and easy to do i wanted to use my black acrylograph to do this tiger stripes on the one line a day word however i was struggling with the pen so it was exploding everywhere so i ended up putting it on a pan and used my brush to get the black color out then i added some colored stripes to the other blocks and then wrote numbers down the sides for my one liner day and my gratitude log. And then this spread was done! I also just want to show you what the gold looks like when it's reflecting against light. It's so mesmerizing and beautiful and I'm sad that in pictures this vibe does not translate. Now let's do a quick flip through of the spreads that I have prepared today. Here is the tiger looking a lot nicer than it was before with the tongue and the teeth looking more accurate. And my monthly log on the side. This is more of an aesthetic monthly log than a functional one because sometimes you just need some pretty colors. What can I say? Then we have my habits tracker which is really cool. I love the effect of the tiger there. And my one line a day and my gratitude log and I think it looks stunning. Because I didn't have time to film my weekly spreads for this video, or at least my first weekly, I'm going to share with you my February theme from 2021, because I never actually filmed this for YouTube, so you never would have seen it. I have a pop-up for the Happy Chinese New Year symbol with all of the 12 animals. The monthly log and the habit trackers are all very basic, with just some illustrations on the side. I didn't want to have too much work. For that month, I also used a lot, a lot of Dutch doors. I think every week had a Dutch door. And I used structured weeklies instead of rolling weeklies, except for the last week, which is a rolling weekly here, as you can see. So the weeks are differently spaced. And that is all. I also have a month review at the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you celebrate the Lunar New Year, happy Lunar New Year for the 1st of February. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.